I know now this this day right now I got a better life right now than I ever had in my whole life. I've been married twice. I've I've got two kids. I just you know I've come a long ways. I, as a matter of fact, I've come a long ways since November the tenth. 2005. That's when my first Bible was given to me. Oh, here in my desk over. I didn't get right into it at that time, but, you know, time. Time cures all, if you think about it. I still hunt my cans. Of course, it's against the law to hunt cans now. They passed a law here last month that you can't dig in people's garbage and get cans and plastic bottles anymore. But I'm gonna do it, I don't care if it's against the law or not. I got to, gotta buy my tobacco. I smoke, love my cigarettes. God sent his son down not to save the good, to save me because I was bad. Everybody in the world was good, man. Why should he sacrifice his own son? Well, he sacrificed his son for me. Well, not just me, you know, all the bad in the world. But, it, you know, it, it has, no, it, it has brought my life forward some, you know, I mean. You got to understand what you're reading. Every time I read that Bible, I ask the good Lord to let me understand what he wants me to understand of what I read. And most usually when I read something out of the Bible, I get something out of it. He puts that little spot right there that I realize what he's trying to say to me. John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world, his people, his people own the world. Ain't not one place in the Bible that I know of that he called earth the world. Not one place. So my, my belief, and really, if I'm wrong, God will correct me. But I think, I, you know, God sent his son down here to save the world. And we're his world, you know. And he's trying to save us. He ain't trying to save that dirt. The dirt ain't sinning, it's just laying, lying there, you know. I don't know, I was reading by one day and that come to my mind, man. Okay, one more shot and then I'm gonna leave you alone. Why? Man, I'm having fun. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, you know, yeah, I accept the good Lord, man, for my Father in heaven and Jesus as my Lord and Savior, you know, which this is all true if you just read the Bible and believe it. God loves people to read the Bible and believe what's in the Bible because God wrote that Bible. He didn't write it down by hand, but he appointed the people to write that Bible. But, you know, since God's in my life, man, I don't, my outlook ain't so bad. There's a little good in my outlook now because I know Christ is with me. Back when I was doing all my wrong good, I should have died and went to hell years ago, and I asked God why I didn't. He had a plan for me, and I don't know what it is, but it's, he's still working on it. But you know, that, that's what actually, actually changed my life is when I really accepted, you know, accepted my Lord and my Father in heaven. That's when my life eventually starts changing. It's not like over day, just like that. If you can hear with your heart, you can hear God's voice, and I can hear with my heart. That's what changed me, because God's talking this right here. Jesus said he's the way and the light. Knock, open up, I'll be there. He's here with me, I guarantee you that. If he wasn't here with me, he, you wouldn't be here. I guarantee you that, too. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, no, man, it's a, my, hey, it's wonderful to live, live my life the way I'm living now because, man, I got God in my life, man. And that's the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me in my life is to have God, my maker, in my life. You know, when I go to bed at night, I thank him for the beautiful day that I had, you know? I still got my ups and downs, I do, but they're not crucial like I thought they were, used to be, you know, oh man.
When I talk, talk about God, it, it, it comes from the heart. It just ain't out of here because this here gets me in trouble, but this don't in here, you know. It just, you know, my rough life all my life, it was from my own choosing. Oh, I'm going to smoke a Marlboro today. My God, God bless him. Look here, he's from God. I want you to hand me them in front of the camera. <laughs> Look here, see, gift from uh, come here, I want, I want, see this man right here, mm -hmm. he's the one who gave me my Bible, he really is, you know, and I love this man to death, really I'm just taking him for his marble, you know, <laughs> he knows better than that, mm -hmm. yeah, I love him, man, well, if it was actually, if it wasn't for him, I met him before I met Jimmy, James, JJ, uh, fat boy standing around there, what's his <laughs> name, Chris, I met him first, and I don't know. He's the one. He's the one that actually brought me to Christ, actually, because he 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 come back, come back. He wouldn't let me go. This man wouldn't let me go. <laughs> I run around barefoot, man. Good Lord, tell no. I tell him, man, I need a pair of shoes. You know what? Good Lord says, let him wait a couple of days and take him a pair of shoes. You know, that's happened two times. Mm. Yeah. Let me see your tooth. Come on, open up. Uh, what? Your tooth. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, it's a wonderful <laughs> life to have friends like this. Man, I didn't ever think I'd have actually have friends, you know. But I do. And it's from the grace of God that I have friends. Yeah, but, you know, for anybody that's going to watch this or listen, you know, just, you know, it's a good thing to have God in your life. You know, if you accept Jesus for your Lord and Savior, your life will change. If you want it to change, you gotta want it to change. You can't just say, hey man, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. If you don't walk with the Lord and go by what he says partial anyway, it's not gonna work. You gotta think every day. You gotta keep God in your life every day. I don't care if you're eating a big old three dollar and fifty cent burrito. You got to keep him in your life. Ask him if he wants a bite, man. That's a good thing. <laughs> no, it's wonderful, man. Hey, man, it's wonderful to have God in your life, man. Look at me. I used to be a low down son of a bitch, man. But now, man, I got the love of God in my heart, and I just love being around my Christian people and stuff like that. <laughs> hey, this did turn out pretty good. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't take old man's nap now. But it's coming on. <laughs>